Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we uh, have a question about voting and effective forms of civic engagement. And it also kind of leads into something about, uh, you know, a lot of re Republican complaints about the current state of the military. Okay, so here's the message. And this is a really long message. I'm just going to hit the highlights. My boyfriend loves your channel, but he disagrees with one thing you say, and he's being a little cute little girl puppy about it. You say voting is the least effective form of civic engagement. He says it's ineffective and says capacity building at the local level is the only way to get real change. Well, I like the last part of that sentence a lot. Um, and then it goes on. Our rights are on the line, and we live in a state that will be close this election. I told him I was going to ask you to convince him, and he told me to tell you that if you're going to craft some cute analogy, you should know he's former 18F. Well, I will try not to make him mad in the process. For those who uh, don't speak the language, 18F is uh, that's a, a certified American tough guy right there. That's somebody with a long tab in the Army, a funny little green hat, Special Forces, Intelligence Sergeant. So not just, you know, an Oakley wearing door kicker, but also somebody who can do the collection and the target analysis and all of that stuff as well. The archetype of the PhD who can win a bar fight, although probably not actually a PhD. But that's, that's who you're talking about here. Uh, kind of the, the ideal when it comes to the, the image of American masculinity. Okay. Voting is the least effective form of civic engagement. Voting is an ineffective form of civic engagement. It's all a matter of perspective and whether you're looking at the wider campaign. Least effective, sure. These people that are going to be sent to D.C. or to your state capitol, they're not saviors. They're not going to solve all of your problems. Half of them probably don't even want to. They're not saviors. But does that mean that they are ineffective? Here's your cute little analogy. You and your ODA, you and your team, you're pinned down in a, in a riverbed. You got 200 people surrounding you. Your rifles, they're not going to uh, turn the tide of that. Pretty ineffective at winning the engagement. What's the solution? Air support, right? Something from above coming in and uh, altering things. Building a greater capacity for violence of action, right? Okay. So the rifles are ineffective at winning the engagement. However, can your rifles buy you two or maybe four minutes for air support to arrive? That's what voting is. Voting is never going to give you systemic change. You're not going to, uh, to achieve that, that greater world that you probably want through voting. You're going to have to build the capacity. You're going to have to change society. And slowly, these things will filter through. You're not going to be able to vote it in. Agreed. But it can buy you time. You, you can have the, the least bad option. Or at, maybe even get an option that doesn't actively try to make it worse. Right? There's your cute little analogy. But is that cute little analogy the reason I wanted to make this video? No, not at all. There's another topic going on right now about uh, the they-them military and the, the weakness that allowing those people in and what it, what it does. I want to point out that the boyfriend is former 18F. 
that's 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 about as hardcore as you get right there. That's the boyfriend. The message is signed from William. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.